welcome to the vlog. So today um, we are heading out. Hey little baby, I can see you in the back. I see you in the mirror. Um, okay, so today we are heading out to a local car boot sale. Um, since moving house, we had tons of stuff that we just didn't want, didn't need anymore, like clothes and pots and pans and stuff. Things that we probably should have got rid of before we moved house and they are now cluttering up our new place. And yeah, we've also got loads of our stuff that are, that's still left um, out at our old place where we used to live um, with Lee's mum. So yeah, going to a car boot sale today just to do a bit of a recce, to see what it's like, where the good kind of pictures are, that sort of thing. Um, Cause we're hoping to go along next weekend to actually vlog some of our stuff. So it's just me and Gray, he's in the back. Um, and Lee's staying home today. He's well this morning. He's got a bit of work to do while, so that's why I'm taking Gray so he can crack on with some work. And I thought I would vlog, and you guys could come along with us. Um, may have just broken my little gorilla pod. Fell out my pocket. Oh crap! I don't even know where the other half of it's on now. But anyway, um, gonna stop rambling and get driving. Also, I've never been to this place before. Don't quite know how I'm gonna get there. Relying, oh, relying on Google to assist right about now. But anyway, yeah, let's go. We had a little mooch around the car boot sale. It was pretty good actually. I've not been to any car boot sales before so I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I even managed to pick up a few things which I wasn't planning on doing so that's pretty good. I didn't really vlog or film much when we were in the car boot sale just because I'm not very confident um, vlogging in public so I just feel really awkward getting my camera out and stuff um, so I didn't really film much while we were there but I will head home now and when we're back I'll do a little car boot sale haul <laughs> and yeah just show you a couple things that we got I really didn't get much but there were a few things that I thought were quite sweet so I picked up and I'll show you when I get back in fact let me just show you really quickly now so maybe if I where can I put you guys if I touch I've got this gorilla pod I've managed to fix it which is good and if I touch you to the steering wheel like so, oh, I've got my hands free. All right, so I got a rosemary plant, which is this here. Oh, smells so, so good. So hoping I can keep this alive and I can maybe pop it in my kitchen. I just want to be able to grow herbs and stuff. So I thought that could be quite sweet. So yeah, a bit of rosemary. And then the other thing that I got were a couple little like bits for Grayson that I thought were really sweet for like win autumn winter. A this little jumper. Um it's from John Lewis and it was like a pound which I think is brilliant. So yeah I've got this it's pretty cute. And then I also got this rugby shirt as well which is also from John Lewis and I thought this was really sweet. He's about to start nursery um in a couple of weeks which is a whole other level of anxiety or not in a couple of weeks next month um yeah just a whole other level of like anxiety and stress about that but yeah i think maybe a few items that are quite cheap i didn't spend much on but that still look nice that he can take to nursery and i don't mind him getting really like ruined or messy it would be good so that's why i picked those up definitely going to give them a good wash when we get home before he wears them we're going to wash them um but yeah I, i'm quite pleased and i picked out like a few ideas on like pricing like what i can price our stuff up at, at and also like where the best pitches were i thought they were gonna the busiest ones were gonna be around the food and like where the uh, burger van was but surprisingly it was really quiet there and um, it was on the other side so try and get that spot next week but yeah we're gonna go home now and you guys can come with us okay let's go 
All right, Mr. Man in the back. Oh, are you ready? Yeah. Also, I have got like oh a really horrible headache. I feel so nauseous today. I had a huge um, coffee this morning, and yeah, I don't know. I think that I had a really strong, very large coffee. I drank it really quickly and I think the caffeine is coming back to haunt me now. Oh, is he asleep? No, he's not. He's awake, he's playing with his toy. Yeah, so the caffeine is now coming back to haunt me. So I'm trying to drink as much water as I can so I can be hydrated and kind of flush all the caffeine out. Was that TMI, like flushing the caffeine out, basically telling you I'm trying to go to, to have a wee a lot? But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go home now and see Lee and I could really do it with something to eat. I went to Waitrose, that's where I'm parked now, sneakily in the Waitrose car park, Rebel, um, because there weren't, wasn't anywhere convenient to park at the car boot sale. So parked over the road in Waitro Waitrose, in Waitrose, and then just like cheekily, does anyone else do this? Just park there and buy something really cheap so you can justify parking there. Anyway, I'm rambling, gonna go home and drink my water. Let's go. Mm. Oh, are you talking in the back? Are you chatting? Oh, are you talking to your mum? Back on the road again. Um, we are going to Lee's mum's house because she's having a little family barbecue get together kind of thing. So we've just just driven back into South London. Oh God, with the traffic. Currently parked up. Yep, yeah, in the petrol station. Please, just very kindly filling up the car for me and I thought oh I better get the camera out and vlog like I'm not great at vlogging I find it actually quite uncomfortable and not it doesn't feel very natural to yabber on a camera in this way I guess a lot of people feel that way but I suppose most vloggers that I watch make it look so easy and so natural and it I don't feel that way but anyway I'm really trying to say and giving it a go so I've even brought the camera out around family who I'm a little bit nervous of taking like filming around because they don't really get YouTube and blogs and stuff and they're a bit like what is this YouTube um blogging you know oh nearly dropped it what is this whole YouTube blogging world that you are into or on about? And I just feel a little bit awkward having to explain it, really. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, I'm going to try and film what I can and see how that all goes. And hopefully I will... Oh, such a knob sack. Basically, a guy just pulling out of the petrol station in a Porsche and acting like he's the bloody bee's knees, revving up, driving really fast to get like two steps ahead. Oh, I hate it when people like that. Anyway, I'm going to stop moaning because um, that's not cool. And yeah, so let's see how much that knob sack is really annoying me. Like, let's see if I can film him. I don't think you'll be able to see. Oh, you can't really. I don't know if you can see, but him there coming out the petrol station yeah meh not cool not cool a bit later on now and we are home i didn't really vlog when too much when i was with the family i kind of got the camera out once like tentatively and then felt a bit conscious like so i put it away so i'm really sorry that i didn't vlog and also it's just quite nice to be present in the moment and enjoying family time i got x factor on in the background and got a pile of ironing that I'm gonna go and crack on with and something pretty monumental has happened and has like actually got himself like settled and comfortable in bed on his own I was like yes winning this is my I'm so happy my kid went to sleep on his own dance <gasps> yeah. I'm very very pleased about that whoop 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 